Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the fifth episode of the Fusion Minis, and this time we're talking a little bit about the preferences found under Fusion and then preferences. And right away you can see that there are two sections. One is your composition. This one's called composition one. And then we have the global settings. Um, yes. Some of those settings can be found twice now. Let's say frame format here in the composition settings. It looks exactly the same like the one in the global and default settings. But of course there is a difference. Everything you change here in your global settings will not only affect your current composition, it will also be the default for every future composition. Let's say you know that most of your footage will be shot in full HD, then it is a good idea to change that in the global settings because otherwise you would have to do that over and over and over again for every new composition the same process can be pretty boring all right general what can we do here proxy settings maybe your computer is not the beast you would like it to be happens this proxy settings can save your life you can compress your footage up to 30 to 1, which is pretty heavily compressed, but hey, it's just to work a little bit smoother and your render settings will not be affected by this. So don't be afraid to change it. Let's see, what else can we do? Um, yes, the flow. If you are new to Fusion, then you will notice right away that your default settings of the flow do not look like mine because I have also a range to grid activated. That, <clears throat> yeah, arranges my notes to the grid. <laughs> and um, active tile pictures is also checked. Um, I will show you real quick what this is doing. Um, create a note. Here it is already selected, which you can see not only by its yellow color, it also expands. I bet you can imagine how helpful this is once you have 30, 40, 450 notes in your flow. Well, if you do not change any parameter at all in your global and default settings, it's not a mistake. You just have to do it for each and every composition on its own. That's it for this episode. I hope you liked it. Bye bye.